Hey fam, welcome to Season 2, Episode 7 of Kish Goes to China. This is Kish Goes to India when in Agra. So my trip to India was so big, I had to chop it up into pieces. So this is when I was in Agra. Now on January 1st, 2016, I was blessed to be here at the Shiro's Hangout. If you're ever in Agra planning to see the Taj Mahal, please stop by to this hangout spot. You won't regret it. This is a restaurant that's um, operated by women who are survivors of acid attacks. And I got the opportunity to spend a whole afternoon with them. Um, there's plenty of books that you can read about uh, feminism, activism, civil rights, and equality. There are beautiful art murals and paintings for sale. And it was just an awesome, awesome time. We got to hang out and really see firsthand what the damage does from acid attacks. And most importantly, we got to really understand the lives of many of these women who are who survived these attacks. Now, the food at this place is all vegetarian. Um, you notice that they have sandwiches, french fries, desserts, burgers, and it's like I said, it's all 100% vegetarian and it's made on the spot by these ladies. Now, one of the, they have a very active Facebook page and uh, stopacidattacks.org. If you want to find out more, you can go to any one of these websites right here, taken directly from the menu to find out. And in the menu, there are no prices. You pay as you wish. Feminism is a radical notion that women are people too. And this is what that visit is about. Straight girl power. Take a look. So we are in the famous Shiro Hangout. Cafe. Yes. And we're going to Uh -huh. and um, the sweet lime soda. You get masala? No. Masala is actually not with the spices, that mm. is with the ginger. Mm. Mm. Volunteer emotions. Volunteer emotions. You're right. It's not. It's not okay. But here's the thing. This this whole thing is more powerful than than anybody realizes because they come together and look at what they're doing. Right? Their life does not stop. And look at what they're doing. So. Girl power. I love it. I support this. Yeah. <laughs> 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 She's gonna shake it, girl. Bring me down, your love is too hot. Bring me down. Let me see the project clip, Josie. What? What's the project clip? Dancer. 
Listen, just get it out now. What's your name? Get it out now. What's happening tomorrow? I won't be there. I never imagined in my entire life living in the United States, born to Jamaican parents, that something like this could happen to people, let alone women. And I learned, my, the lesson that I learned in all of this is how dare I complain about something in my life that I'm not happy about, something that I could actually change where these women I look at their lives and it's like an unfortunate situation has happened to them to tear them down and instill just like Maya, Maya Angelou's poem still I rise they were happy they were joyous they lived their lives to its true purpose the way that we ought to live our own lives and I realized we don't got nothing to complain about what the hell are we complaining about we need to reassess our priorities. We have life, we have health, we have strength, we have employment, we have food, clothing, and shelter. What more do we want than just that? And so I'm glad that I was able to be there for the beginning of the new year, 2016, to see this. So that way, these sisters empowered me in such a way that my life has forever been changed. I keep saying that with every trip that I go on in each situation that I have, but I realize that my 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 way as a as a traveler is changed. I'm not interested in going on a beach and taking a picture and posting it in this group and that group. I'm trying to develop myself in a way that I'm growing. As an educator, I have to stand in front of people's children every single day. I'm a school counselor. I have to make an impact. And what is it that I'm doing that my students will see that I've changed and want to examine their lives in the same way that I'm examining mine to become a better person? 
And so my whole focus on traveling has changed. And with each person that I meet, my life is changing. Next morning, we woke up really early and our hotel staff, Priya, she came and she helped us to wrap our saris so that we can go to the Taj Mahal. Um, after several, <laughs> several different attempts, we finally got it and uh, I was ready, Josie was ready, and Marlo was ready. And we got ready to go. Now the weather was really, really bad. Um, there was a lot of pollution in the air and it's very cloudy. But judging from these pictures and my Nikon camera, you would never ever know, baby. And so we had such a great time. The Indian people had a uh, good time <laughs> watching us in their uh, in their native attire. They took pictures with us, and we got many, many, many compliments. They were very happy to see us. Um, in fear in Agra, I do recommend seeing the Taj. I probably go a third time. Um, India is a wonderful country with many different things to learn. Uh, please go and check it out. You will enjoy yourself. And please take lots of pictures. In the words of my favorite rapper Heavy D, be inspired. And as always, thanks for watching.